We're going to take a closer look now, joined by Randy Thielen, who is the Vice President of Economic Development for the Downtown Denver Partnership. When you take a look at this map, so we're looking at the downtown city core over five years. Mm -hmm. What do you see from this perspective that you don't always see when you drive the streets? Yeah, and it's nice to take that sort of five-year snapshot. I think sometimes when you go day to day, month to month, you don't, you don't really fully capture it. When you look at a five-year window, you see incredible growth. Just the dots on the map represent new construction over the course of the past five years. Five billion dollars worth of new investment. Um, we've had this historic commercial core here we, where we see the office towers, if you will, the skyscrapers. Older Denver here. Older Denver, 1970s, 1980s construction that's starting to see some redevelopment. But really what's happened is we've had this concentration of Union Station development that's really triggered a lot of activity in this part of town, including crossing the river into the Platte Valley area. The convention center, the development there has brought in all kinds of new hotel activity. Really, we've seen almost a doubling in hotel rooms in the last 10 years, remarkable growth in downtown. And then around our sort of center city, our core, we've seen residential populate the Arapahoe Square area, the Cultural District, Golden Triangle, and again back at Union Station. So we've seen a tripling of residential population in downtown since the year 2000. To give people some idea of what we're looking at here, the blue dots are your residential, lighter blue is your mixed use green, those are your offices, this lighter green here, hotels. hotels. So you begin to see how the development clusters over time. and. One thing that is looming large with no dots right down here. So this is the area around Pepsi Center. You've got Elitch's down here. Uh, this is a parking desert uh, in the center. And we've been telling people what's going to happen here over the next couple of years. The parking is going to go into garages, structures, Correct. and then the development. This is massive down here. It is, and it's an opportunity almost unparalleled across the country. I mean, to have 60 plus acres of prime development real estate in the heart of a city like Denver is pretty extraordinary. Um, to be clear, Elitch Gardens, the amusement park is open. It's going to stay open. The developer believes at least for the foreseeable future. It could be 10, 12, 15 years. My kids are there. We have season passes the whole nine yards. But when you think about what can happen in this area, it's roughly a fifth of the center city or the, or the downtown core. Tremendous opportunity with anchors. The Pepsi Center is an entertainment hub. The riverfront is really an untapped resource for us downtown. We've seen great advancements as you get to the Platte area around REI and the developments that have taken place there. We're going to see that kind of community amenity built and the park system built throughout this area and really bring that back to the public and, and make a really outstanding dynamic civic space. Whenever I see one of these residential spots here, it reminds me these are people who are not dealing with traffic. As much as we talk about traffic and we <laughs> talk about sprawl, when we're able to build up here, we're kind of taking the pressure off of some of those other places. That's absolutely right. We think that part of Part of De Denver's development strategy is to densify downtown. The more we can concentrate jobs in residential downtown, the more we can e continue to grow but ease the burden of congestion. Our mobility studies show that 60% of the people that work in our downtown, we have 130,000 people working downtown, 60% of them take transit, they take their bike or they walk to work each day. That helps ease the congestion issue and allows Denver to continue to grow and prosper. When we look out three to five years from now, I'm thinking to myself, what are the Rockies going to be doing around Coors Field with that property that they're investing in? And then the transformation of this area of town, kind of the connector into Rhino, Arapo Square. When you think about it, I mean, this is an area where the city has had challenges with homelessness mm -hmm. for years and we're keeping this part of the city feeling safe and feeling clean. But when you look at it, an astonishing amount of residential development. People, people clearly feel comfortable living in this part of town, which is maybe something they would have thought of 10 yeah, years ago. Yeah, and I think part of it is just the nature of this inbound migration of people from all parts of the country. When you think of somebody moving here from New York, San Francisco, LA, which we have a number of people doing each year, this sort of urban environment is not abnormal to them. It's, it's absolutely the, what they expect. And so you're seeing all around the commercial core, you're seeing residential development taking place. Young people in particular, they want to live downtown, they want to walk to work, they want a different kind of lifestyle. And Denver now is really starting to deliver that opportunity. Last question for you, Randy. So if you were able to jump back to 2013, the beginning of this map, sure. and convince everybody involved to do one thing differently. I mean, all of us could look back five years and say, I wish we'd taken this turn instead of that one. What might we have done differently that might guide our approach to how the area around Pepsi and Elitch is, is developed? Yeah, I think by and large, we've done a spectacular job. I mean, we've really maximized our investment, community's investment into transit. Um, so that's worked exceptionally well. I think the next phase for Denver and downtown, something we're very keen on at the Denver, downtown Denver partnership, is to really focus on green. How do we get more park space into our city? How do we get more green design elements into our city? 
that's I think the next iteration for downtown Denver. Because you were telling me before we got started that you see the Riverwalk area on the South Platte as the main draw to this area the way that Union Station is the draw in this area. Yeah, absolutely. In terms of anchors for what's next in this sort of Central Platte Valley area, the riverfront is absolutely an untapped opportunity. We can really build that into a community asset. A lot of urban centers like Denver turn their back on the river. Historically, it was sort of a means for transportation, shipping products. Um, we're going to reverse that. We're going to put the public on the water, bike paths, walking paths, green areas for picnics, you name it. It's going to be a great amenity for downtown. Well, goodness knows there couldn't be any more asphalt down there if they tried. So <laughs> looking forward to some grass and trees. Appreciate the perspective and uh, the map. Uh, this will be on the next Facebook page and in this article on 9news.com if people want to take their own look.